had said some time ago that uh, really when I got about the age of 62 that uh, it would be 25 years of head coach in Pike High School, this might be a good time to, to hang it up. And... It's finally time for Ed Siegel, though the only things he's hanging up just yet are photos of some of the hundreds of players he's had the pleasure of coaching over the last quarter century. A lot of people don't realize every player that you coach whether it's the last kid on the bench or the star of the team, that he doesn't realize it, but a part of him goes with you when he leaves. And you hope, positively, a part of you will go with him. And Coach Siegel will have plenty to take with him after the season. Plenty of memories of 337 wins, of helping coach the 1989 Indiana All-Star team, and of building a tradition at a school that once had none. Now, when Ed Siegel came here to Pike in 1970, there were no championship banners of any kind in this gym. Now, there are many of them commemorating conference, county, regional and sectional champions. But one of Ed Siegel's only regrets in 25 years is that there are no state championship banners hanging there with him. I really felt like that uh, there were, oh, maybe three or four ball clubs given the right break at the right time could maybe have won it particularly the 89 basketball team and the 1990 team, those two teams, I really felt like we had a shot because uh, we beat the state champion, Lawrence North, in 89 at the field house on the last second shot. Now Ed Siegel will take his final shot, a shot at a few more banners, a shot at touching a few more young lives, and then getting on with his. Someone asked me, he said, well, what are you going to do? I said, whatever I want to do for the first time in my life. At Pike High School, Ken Tomash, six sports.